Hi, welcome back. I'm at BBJOMB, you can call me John. I'm one of the writers and podcasters for joepanandme.com and I do a thing called This Geek Say Chic. If you've seen any previous episodes, you know what to expect from a dress to press X. And this one is another cosplayer showcase. Um, and you've probably guessed from the intro, it's to do with Infamous Second Son. So, here we go. It's a Delson Rare cosplay. So this one is so close to being finished. There are some minor parts that need to be sorted out with it, but generally it's pretty much done. And it was a really, really good one to kind of do. The items in it were all available from Inset Coin. Um, I'm not sure if any of them still are. You may be able to find them on eBay. Um, but as cosplays go, it's a really, really simple one. So let's start off with the, the different items. I'll tell you what I'm missing first. Um, my arm. I need a chain, which I've seen some kind of prop chains that I can get. I didn't get a chance to get one in time to record this, but basically like a plastic chain to wrap around and up to my arm. And also, I don't have a tattoo. I'm probably going to put an artificial one on if I ever take this out on the road. Uh, but yeah, quite a, a simple cosplay this. Obviously, I maybe need some special powers, so smoke, neon, um, digital. I don't have those powers or rocks um, so I th they don't come as standard and I'm not sure I can pick them up from anywhere so let's just take this hood off oh, and have a look so you can see I've got a nice uh, beanie going on which this beanie was really good it came with my collector's edition of Infamous Second Son so you can see it's got like a, a little um, hoodie on it which if you notice there's a patch there which is actually missing from here so I could look at, at creating a patch there but you can see two patch pockets on the front um, and badges on the sides which I'm kind of replicating here and then like the grey hoodie underneath um, and on the back the little ties there and the logo the infamous logo the good and evil uh, balanced karma at that point so let's have a look at this then so you can see it's a, a denim washed kind of look um, cut so it kind of sits over the top of a hoodie which is the official one from insert coin so that sits really nicely and I still need to get a proper check shirt the shirt I've got underneath it's quite a light check so it's not perfect so that's maybe something I need to pick up a little bit down the line uh, this obviously looks looks pretty good. If I show you the back, you can see you should be able to see the uh, the balanced karma logo on the back. Uh, on the front, uh, I've detailed it like on the the minute chair with some badges. So uh, I've got a nice Sly Cooper one showing the background for uh, where Sucker Punch came from because they were their original games before doing Infamous. I've also stuck a, a little uh, codec moments badge on there um, there's another balanced camel on and then there's a pumpkinlizard.com badge so that's quite nice I've got some badges oh, it'd be nice to kind of accessorize personalize it a little bit um, yeah that's kind of it I can take this off to show you what the other items are like uh, so this has quite heavy buttons which hopefully that will come up you can see it says insect coin limited since 2010 so this came out a lot later than 2010 and was was one of the items I most coveted when I first started writing this Geek Say Chic. Um, these two items were, were definitely ones I really, really wanted. I managed to pick up the hoodie, which I'll show you in a second, quite cheap. So I was very, very pleased. This was a little bit more expensive, but I managed to get it in a sale as they were kind of going end of line. So I thought it was worth picking up to finish off since I already had the beanie from the collector's edition. It made sense to try and kind of show it all off together. So I'll show you the, uh, the denim cut. So you can see there's some little detailing on the shoulders, uh, which is quite nice. So it's a different coloured tone. And then again, I can show the back. So you can see that's quite a, a nice, impressive print on the, the back of it. it's quite a heavy print um, it's not perfect this feels like there's a little bit of marking there it's a bit overly heavy 
but it's rubberized and it it looks good and looks it does what it needs to yeah again a little bit heavy there i think that's to do with the way the fabric is and then inside you can see it's a unisex one and it's in large and it's from insight coin and then the the hoodie as you can see is a, a really good fit it's again in a large with two patch pockets and some hair in it so generally i just wear it like this i occasionally wear the denim coat not always and then the back you can see again the logo which i think the reason they did it in gray on the back was to encourage you to go off and buy the uh the cut to kind of give it the the proper look as i said you can't actually buy these anymore which is a shame because it's like an instant cosplay also i've just got some dark jeans on so rocking a bit of the old double denim look some people like that some people don't but it's cosplay who cares um so yeah a few more items i still need to kind of pick up to finalize it but it's pretty much cosplay in a box this one a couple of items and i was away so hopefully you've enjoyed this little showcase of um, the infamous Second Son apparel and my attempt at a Delson Rowe cosplay. And I'll catch you again back here for another um, Dress to Press X. I've been at BDJOMB. You can find me on Instagram, obviously on YouTube, because that's where you're watching this, and on Twitter. Feel free to like and subscribe if you fancy seeing more of these episodes. And I'll catch you again soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye.